Hi everybody, and welcome to the Getting Started with InstructBot tutorial video series. In this video, I'll be showing you what the swap mouse button command is used for and how to create it. This is the swap mouse button command in the configuration I used. When triggered, it will swap the left and right mouse buttons for three minutes. Because pulsing is enabled, the buttons will swap back and forth randomly over the duration. If pulsing was instead disabled, the command would only swap the buttons at the start and end of the duration. You can get an indication of how the buttons are going to be swapped by looking at the example output. Please note, the exact sequence of swaps is calculated each time the command is run, so will differ each time. The amount of time swapped is configurable. In my command, the buttons will be swapped for half the time, with each swap lasting for between 3 and 5 seconds. You can see that by reducing the percentage swap, there are larger gaps where the buttons behave normally. If you increase the minimum and maximum swap duration, you'd get fewer swaps, but they last a longer amount of time. Please note the amount of time swapped remains constant. This gives you a brief overview of how to set up the swap mouse button command. I'm now going to switch over to my tutorial configuration and walk you through how to create the command. You should set the name and description to something appropriate for the command. In this case, I'm going to name it Swap Mouse Buttons and describe it as Swaps the Left and Right Mouse Buttons. The Active Application Required drop-down controls if the command will be executed when the active application has input focus. You can choose Required, Unrequired, or Default. Required will ensure the command is only executed when the active application has input focus. Unrequired will not check to see if the active application has input focus and instead just execute the command. Default will resolve to required or unrequired depending upon the command type. Input, mute sound, and swap mouse button commands all require an active application, so will default to required. As I want the default behavior, I'll leave this on default. Always on controls if the command is considered active, even if not contained within a profile attached to the active application. As I'm going to be adding the command to a profile, I'm going to leave this disabled. Public controls if other users of InstructBot can download the command. If you want to share this command, toggle it on. Duration controls how long the command will last in seconds. As I want a longer swap mouse button command, I'm going to set this to 180. The cooldowns control how often the swap mouse button command can be executed. The global cooldown applies to everyone, whereas the user cooldown is per viewer. For example, if you set the global cooldown to 5 and the user cooldown to 60, the command can be executed at most once every 5 seconds, but a single viewer will only be able to execute once every 60 seconds. As I'm happy for the command to be triggered multiple times in a row, I'm going to leave both cooldowns off. The help settings control if the command is shown with the default help command or a specified help command. As I want this command to be shown in the default help command I previously created, I will toggle use default on. Because I'm creating a longer duration command, I'm going to enable pulsing. If I was instead creating a shorter duration command, I could instead leave pulsing disabled. The percentage completed controls the amount of time the mouse buttons are swapped. It will default to being swapped half the time and I'm happy with this so I'll leave it at 50%. The minimum and maximum swap duration controls the length of time of each individual swap. I would like a lot of small durations so that the mouse button swap back and forth rapidly. To do so, I'm going to reduce the minimum and maximum amounts. The queue settings control how the command is executed. By default, the swap mouse button command is executed on its own queue. As I want the swap mouse button command to execute in sequence, I will toggle use default on to use the default queue. The sound effects settings control what, if any, play sound commands are run at the start and end of this command. I don't want any sound effects, so I'm going to leave these on none. I want the swap mouse buttons command to be available only in Escape from Tarkov, so I'm going to link it to the Escape from Tarkov profile. I want the command to be executed when a person cheers 500 bits or donates 5 pounds, so I'm going to create bits and donation triggers for these amounts. The only thing left to do is enable the swap mouse button command so that it can be used. And then press apply to save the changes. This wraps up how to create a swap mouse button command. If you'd like to learn more, please look at other tutorial videos in this series, visit our website, or join our Discord. Links to both the Discord and website are in the description below.